Dear friends, welcome to Know Thyself YouTube channel. Good morning. Hope you are all staying safe and keeping well. I sincerely thank all of you who have subscribed to this channel and follow the channel. If you find the contents of the videos uploaded in this channel useful, please subscribe to this channel and click the notification or the bell icon so that you can be notified when a video is uploaded. Kindly share the videos with others or on the internet. In the last episode of Know Your Personality segment, we began speaking about the spiritual journey of Enneagram Type 7 enthusiast adventurer by analyzing how Type 7 compulsion of being optimistic and fun-loving and avoidance of every type of pain impact Type 7 Enneagram itself. In this episode, we will elaborate on how type 7 avoidance and compulsion affect your relationship with others as a type 7 person. Firstly, as a type 7 person, your compulsion of being optimistic and fun-loving and avoidance of every type of pain get you involved in so many things which you believe would give you fun, pleasure and enjoyment. You chase after new, bigger and brighter experiences that would be exciting and exhilarating. As you get bored with what you have been doing and do not want to miss out on fun experiences, you search for new things to rekindle your adventurous spirit and try out everything you can. Hence, instead of narrowing down your options in life, you widen the horizon of your objectives and try harder to pursue and achieve them. However, being caught up in this endless pursuit of achieving fun and enjoyment through your various goals can make it nearly impossible for you to track and actualize them, leading to impatience, frustration, disappointment, and a bitter sense of non-fulfillment. Trapped in this emotional trauma and turmoil, you would find it difficult to focus on personal and relational aspects, thereby miss out on your relationship with others. Secondly, as a type 7 person, your compulsion of being optimistic and fun-loving and your avoidance of every type of pain make you to suppress your deep anxieties and negative events that have occurred in your life by getting lost in thoughts about next exciting activity and by compulsive search for new experiences leading to total disconnect with your negative situations and emotions. When confronted with negative situations and emotions, you have a tendency to escape these problems by making jokes, having fun, planning new activities and looking for new experiences. Thus, the best way you escape from these uncomfortable thoughts and feelings is by becoming a joker and not taking yourself and your difficulties seriously. As a result, People experience you as a phony who is superficial, shallow and insincere. Your lack of seriousness about accepting negative realities of your life and you being perceived as phony and superficial by others could take a toll on the whole realm of your relationship with other people. Thirdly, as a type 7 person, your compulsion of being optimistic and fun-loving and your avoidance of every type of pain can create a problem for you to get involved in deep, intimate, committed, one-to-one -one and personal relationship with others, though you may make a good friend and a great companion to others. This is because your tendency to ignore your inner emotional dimension and unwillingness to focus your attention on negative aspects of your life. You do not face the situation of pain and try to solve it. Instead, you escape it by looking away from what is painful and what makes you suffer. You dismiss your pains and choose to find a distraction such as going to movies, having a drink, engaging in competitive activity or pursuing a situation that provides excitement, adventure and happiness. 
you will play by the same rule when it comes to the pains and emotional needs of your partner with whom you have an intimate relationship. As you do not like to focus on your pains and sorrows, you also tend to dismiss the pains and sorrows of your partner in life. Your partner can feel that you ignore his or her painful emotional situation, can feel hurt and offended, and think that you are deliberately not understanding him or her and the emotional turmoil he or she is going through. Though you may not have the intention to ignore the emotional needs of your partner, you do a great deal of damage to the good health of your relationship with your partner by your inability to understand your partner's pains and sorrows and by failing to be of support to him or her, thereby causing rift in your relationship. Finally, as a type 7 person, your compulsion of being optimistic and fun-loving and your avoidance of every type of pain can make you fall into the trap of procrastination when confronted with any situation of pain and discomfort in relation to any project you may be involved. When you encounter problems in your present project, instead of reviewing your plan and strategy, implementing the reviewed details of the project and work hard to complete it, you tend to escape the present by focusing on future projects that may be more pleasurable thereby put off the completion of the present project. Other people involved in your present project may be greatly bothered by your tendency to procrastinate and conclude that you are not reliable in getting things done on time. Your predisposition to procrastinate and lack of commitment to complete the project on time can adversely affect your relationship with people in the professional level. All the above mentioned situations clearly show that your compulsion of being optimistic and fun-loving and your obsessive avoidance of every type of pain can create significant issues for you both in the spheres of your personal and professional relationships. In the next episode, besides considering how your avoidance and compulsion prevent you from living out your positive traits as a type 7 person, we will also give a short self-examination exercise which you can use to understand your type 7 personality better, particularly to have a clear understanding of your avoidance, compulsion and their impact on yourself and on your relationship with others. Thank you for watching this video. Stay blessed until we see you again with another video.